Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's see how we can improve this drug test that we showed how that worked on the previous video. Notice that we had a drug called drug X that had about a 0.5% usage of the general population. The drug test had a 99% sensitivity and a 99% specificity. And we noticed that when we worked it out, the probability that it that the person was a user if they tested positive was about 33%. So the question was, what will improve the test? What if we make the test more sensitive and what, we, what if we improve the specificity of the test? So we're going to do it one step at a time. First, we'll make the test 100% sensitive and then we'll make the test 99.5% specific to see how it changes things. I worked ahead already a little bit, and so first we're going to make the test 100% sensitive. So instead of 0.99 here, we get 1.0. Instead of 0.99, we get 1.0, and we do it again over there. That's the change. This is the, the probability that the person will test positive if they're a user. If the test is 100% sensitive, that means every user will test positive. So how will that improve the results of the test? In other words, how that will increase the number, the percentage, or the probability that the person will be user if the person tests positive. All right, uh, let's see here. So when we do all that, we need to recalculate the denominator here. So the denominator will be uh, 0 0.005 plus 0 0.01 times 0.99. Oops. 995, and so we get 0 0.01495. And I remember right, that was just about what we got the previous time. So let's take the inverse of that times 0 0.005 equals, and we get 33.4%. And I believe it was 33.2% before, so there's hardly an improvement in the results of the test. It wasn't about making the test more sensitive. If you're already up at 99%, that's really good. Make it 100%, you get barely any change in the probability that the person will be user if the test positive. It's all about the false positives. That has to be reduced. So what happens if we increase the specificity of the test from 99 to 99.5%? And sure, we'll keep a probability of 100. Let's keep this at 100 so that it catches every user for sure, but we want to reduce the false positives to see what happens. So we'll plug that into the equation here. So first of all, the probability that the person will test positive their user, well now that's a 1.00, multiply times the probability that their user, and it's a, well, it's 0 0.005, that's 0.5% of all the of, of the general population that will be user. Divided by, so this will be repeated, 1.00 times 0 0.005 plus the probability that they'll test positive if they're a non-user. So now the probability that they test positive if they're a non-user, hmm, that's the false positives. So now instead of having 1% of non-users, it's 0.5% of non-users that will test positive, that are false positive. So if they're non-user, the probability of testing positive now dropped to 0 0.005 instead of 0 0.01. If we multiply that times the probability of being a non-user, which is the same, 0 0.995. So notice that it's this number right here that changed to 0 0.005. This is the percentage of false positives so we went from 1% false positives to 0 0.005, which is 0.5% false positives. And that will actually make a big difference. So what will this then become? So this is equal to, in the numerator, that will be 0 0.005 in the numerator divided by, the denominator will now be 0 0.005 times 0 0.005 times 0.995. And now we get 0 0.009975. So notice how the denominator has changed to a much smaller number from before. So we take the inverse of that, 
multiply times 0 0.005 and we get this is equal to 50.1%. So notice that it didn't make a lot of difference by increasing how sensitive the test was. But if the test was more specific from 99 to 99.5%, so now we change this to 99.5%, that changed a whole lot. In other words, now we know that whoever tests positive, 50% of those that test positive are actually users of drug X instead of 33%. So what we need to do is reduce the false positives to get a much better result. And that is how this works.